Welcome back, and I'm glad you're back. I hope this has been fun up to this point. I'm Rob W1RCP. We're doing element two, the technician exam. We're on sub element five, delta, and this is more formulas. This is Ohm's law, and if you look right above my noggin here, right above my noggin, I have a little circle for you drawn with paint, and it has E equals I times R. E equals I times R. Voltage equals current times resistance, and you want to memorize that. The, uh, the wheel, if you want to draw this on your scrap paper on the test, you can if you want to memorize uh, just that. And then you'll have the answers to the next three questions. Now, remember, there's 35 parts on the technician exam. There are also 35 sections to the technician's exam. And with that, there's only going to be one of these questions on your test. So let's start out. What formula is used to calculate current in a circuit? If you look at this chart and put your hand over current, that is E over R. So that is how you get your answer. Current equals voltage divided by resistance. Let's go look at T5D question two. What formula is used to calculate voltage in a circuit? Well, put your hand over the E for voltage and you got I times R. So there's your answer. Voltage or E electromotive force equals I times R. And if we scroll down to the very next question, you see what formula is used to calculate the resistance in a circuit. Put your hand or your finger, depending on how big you draw this, over the R and you get voltage divided by current or E divided by I. And uh, the next couple of questions are going to require you to, uh, again, guys, gals, hams of all ages, I'm trying to get you to not just memorize answers here, but how did we get to the answers? So to get to the answer for the next one, we're going to bring in a fancy scientific calculator. So the question here is, let me bring it up so I can read it. What is the resistance of a circuit in which there are three amperes of current flowing when connected to 90 volts? So we have current, we have voltage, but we do not have the resistance. So let's figure this out. We know that if you put your hand, we're looking for resistance. We know, put your hand or your finger over the R, we have voltage divided by current. So let's go voltage, which is 90, divided by, you could do this math in your head, but I'm showing it on the calculator just for fun. That gives us 30 ohms. So that is the resistance, 30 ohms. Let's go to the next one. What is the resistance? Hey, it's asking for resistance again. So we know what that is. It is 12 volts with a flow of current, 1.5 amperes. Again, look at your Ohm's law circle there. What are we looking for? We're looking for resistance. That's E divided by I. So if we take E, which is 12 volts, and divide by 1.5, we're going to get 8 ohms. So that's how you get to the answer of 8 ohms. So now we have, what is the resistance of a circuit that draws 4 amps from a 12-volt source? Again, we're looking for resistance, so put your finger over the R. You get E divided by I, voltage divided by current, and we know 12 divided by 4 is going to be 3 ohms. So there's your answer. Here we go again. What is the current? Now we're looking for current. Current is intensity, or I. So put your finger over I, and you get E divided by R, voltage divided by resistance. So the voltage is 120 volts divided by 80 ohms, and that's going to give us 1.5 amperes of current that flows. Hey, look at there. It's one of the answers. 
So we go, what is the current? Now we're still looking for I. So that's E divided by R through a 100 ohm resistor across 200 volts. So 200 volts divided by 100 ohms. And we know that 200 divided by 100 is 2. But that's 2 amperes. But I have the calculator here. We're going to use it. 2 amperes. Let's go to question number 9. Is What is the current through a 24 ohm resistor? Connected across 240 volts. Again, looking at your circle, you're looking for current, which is intensity, letter I, is E divided by R. Voltage divided by the resistance of a 24 ohm. Again, you could do this in your head. That's 10 amperes. Question number 10. There's a lot of these, aren't there? What is the voltage? Now we're looking for the voltage, which is electromotive force. That's E. E equals I times R. So what's 2 times 0.5? Well, we know what that is. It's 1. That's 1 volt. That's why I was saying in one of the earlier videos, when you have your power running through those short, fat wires, there's resistance. If you use little skinny wires, there's more resistance. So the more resistance you have and you have current flowing across it, you're going to have a voltage drop across that wire. So let's say that you had a 2 ohm wire and a half a current flowing through it. You're going to have a 1 volt drop across that length of wire. So that's why those, that question earlier in, in the sub-elements said, why would you use those short, fat connections of wire for your power? All righty, we're going to number 11. The voltage, we're looking for electromotive force. E equals I times R. Check it on the circle. So we have 10 ohms across a 1 amp ear current that flows through it. Well, even without using the calculator, we can see that 1 times 10 is 10. That's 10 volts. Let's go look at number 12. And I'm going to have to manually scroll. Oh my gosh, I've done messed this up. Here we go. All righty. So number 12, what is the voltage? Again, we're looking for E. The voltage across a 10 ohm resistor if a current of 2 amperes flows through it. So uh, let's see. That's I times R. 10 times 2 equals 20 volts. Now we have two questions left. We're going to go back to just the browser and I'm going to take you to a website to show you series and parallel circuits. So we're going to go to this website. Nope. We're not going to go to that website because that's where I stole that from <laughs> and drew my own so I wasn't stealing their image. But we're going to go to All About Circuits. What is the difference between series and parallel circuits? And a series circuit has only one path for current to flow through. And here is a total complete series circuit. You see there's only one path for current to flow through. Now if we scroll down... These guys look like they're parallel bars. Going down to a parallel circuit, you can see that there's multiple paths for current to flow. Think about your Christmas lights. If you got a Christmas light where if one light blows, all of them go, that's a series circuit. If you have Christmas lights where if one blows out a majority or the rest stay on, that's a parallel circuit. So... In which type of circuit is DC current the same through all components? The DC current is the same through all components because there's only one path for current to flow, and that is a series circuit. And the last question, in which type of circuit is voltage the same across all components. You can see that the, the current only has one path to follow here, but over here we have multiple paths for current to flow, but look, 
all of these guys are connected directly to the battery. So the voltage potential is the same across all three. So without going into any further detail, your answer is parallel. The voltage is for parallel, whereas current is for series. So I hope you've enjoyed the uh, laughs of this particular one with my silly picture. Uh, I could have taken the other one that was also drawn in Microsoft Paint, but I thought mine was a lot funnier. Um, I just couldn't remember because I, I know this one by heart. And, you know, hey, you know, who, who said that if you can't explain it to a kindergarten, then you really don't really know it at all? Yep, hello, that's me sometimes. My words get ahead of me. So E equals I times R. Well, this has been a fun one. The next one is also going to be about electronic components. So these are some of my favorite things to go over. I'll get that prepared and we'll get it up. I'm Rob W1RCP. Come on back for another one.